uh, members of the City Council. Thank you very much for this opportunity to communicate with you. As you know, our organization, Citizens Concerned About Casino Gambling, has been in operation since 1977. And we hope uh, tonight that you will decide or talk over our request not to affirm or ask the General Assembly to put a referendum concerning gambling, casino gambling at Newport Grand. Uh, my, uh, my understanding is, and I ask you to do the necessary research if you need to, of course, uh, to check and see whether it is required that the City Council vote on it and request it before the General Assembly. Our hope and our understanding is that you will not make any decision on it and that obviously there will be people available in the General Assembly to introduce any uh, resolution that they would like to. We don't find any place, I'm not a lawyer obviously, we don't find any place where it necessarily must go through the City Council. And it's been mentioned in the press a couple of times, and I believe also the present proprietor of Newport Grand, I think she also has been quoted as saying it must go, or it's going through the city council. So that's a very important distinction for us. We don't think it needs to do that, and we ask you to do the uh, required due diligence on that. And the second uh, point I would like to make is that uh, Newport has voted, as you very well know, in 2012, uh, rather resoundingly against uh, having a casino at Newport Grand. And the idea at that time, the City Council did put a resolution in asking it that, go, that it go on the ballot. But the reason given at that time was, well, the people deserve uh, the right to vote. And people that were members of the City Council at that time who seemed to be opposed to uh, the casino but said, well, the people have a right to vote. Uh, our understanding is they've had the right to vote and it was very uh, seriously vetted. I wonder when any issue has been as vetted as that particular one was with advertisements and public forums that were held and, and so on and so forth. So we believe that people in Newport have decided and we, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm not very happy. We think it's unfair to come back just two years later and start all over again. And many of us are getting a little older over the years, you know, and it's just uh, tiresome to come back all the time with the same, with the same uh, issues. So please do not ignore the vote of Newport. And, uh, you know, you, you can't very well say your constituents uh, unless your particular ward voted that way, but you can't very well say your constituents want the right to vote. I mean, I, I think they want you to respect their vote. That's the position um, that we would take. Um, and this, uh, sometimes it was, it, last time one of the important issues that got the most press was the change of location. And uh, we felt that situation was if that referendum passed, it could lead to a change of location for the casino. We were accused of malicious lies and rumors for saying that. However, I think it's agreed now that that could possibly have happened at that time if it passed. Our concern is still the same. Some of the proponents of the casino, proposed casino, um, stipulate that they can write legislation in such a way that it could never move from the current location. Again, I would encourage uh, you to seek your uh, legal advice. Our own position is that we think that the laws that the legislature can make, they can change the laws and make new ones. It would seem uh, we, can't, we can't envision a way that something could be so set in stone that the casino uh, would not be moved. Um, another issue important for us is the possibility of loss of control. 
You already know there was a court case back in 2007 that affected the uh, city council and the city with regard to some of the regulations of the city. If the casino is built there, it's going to be uh, obviously run by the state of Rhode Island. And uh, they kind of trump things uh, quite a bit. So the, the, some of the local things. Um, I guess it's time. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't happen to you in church, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One last favor. Please, please, please check our website. NoCasinoRI.com. It's on the uh, statement that I gave you. It's in the newspaper all the time. There's a, a ton of good stuff on there. So if you have issues, and you know, we know you can't be experts in every, I mean, the stuff that comes across square footage and uh, attenuating sound, and I mean, <laughs> stuff that comes across for you folks all the time, it's mind boggling. So our website is there to help you and we offer it to you and hope that you will take advantage of it. And if you're concerned about the social, uh, I was thinking tonight, I came over the Newport Bridge, uh, there was mentions, I mean, I, I, don't know, I, I don't know how long it's been there, I just saw that, I think it's a brand new sign, Pell Newport Bridge, is that just up there or is it just me seeing it, or has it been painted? It's beautiful, the setting sun was on it, the gold, I said, wow, this is, Welcome to Newport. I drove a little farther and I saw the other sign and I said, well, we got the choice. All right. Thank, thank you, you, Reverend McKenna. Thank you.